events that changed our world once and for all. We often think that the history of our planet consists of these painfully long and slow changes. But actually, this isn't the case at all. Sudden and crazy catastrophes have occurred on Earth, events that changed our world once and for all. And one of these events was the Great Flood in North America. Let's find out what happened there. It all started in the state of Montana. Welcome to the beautiful river valley called Missoula. Right now, it's a small town full of people, but tens of thousands of years ago, there was something completely different in this place. It was a huge lake that formed inside a melting glacier. It was called Missoula Lake, and it was huge. The tops of the local hills actually were its high water marks. If you had been standing in this place about 14 to 18,000 years ago, then all of the surrounding hills would have been its shores. The peaks themselves would have looked like small islands. Nothing below except for the dark depths, which in some places reached 2,000 feet. It was an inland sea. This is a sea that has almost no connection to the ocean. It was full of fresh water and it had more water than both Lake Erie and Lake Ontario combined. But where did this giant glacier even come from? Actually, there was far more than one ice age on Earth. Over the past 100,000 years, ice layers have covered the northern hemisphere several times. Then they kept melting and retreating back. Our planet was subjected to a lot of climate changes. This was one of them. During the last ice age, this happened again. The ice spread from Alaska all the way down to the US-Canadian border. It affected many places, including the Missoula Valley. The lake was surrounded by giant ice walls, and we're not talking about some big icebergs. These walls were truly huge. They could reach 2,000 feet in height and spread for as much as 30 miles in width. They blocked the lake, forming something like an ice dam. And like with any other dam, water gradually accumulated there from various sources. Melting glaciers, rains, rivers. As a result, the lake's volume reached about 3,000 cubic miles. Of course, things couldn't just go smoothly. Unsurprisingly, ice isn't the most durable material, especially when thousands of tons of water are pressing on it. So, just a couple of cracks, just a few holes, and one day, boom, the dam failed. It's scary to even imagine. Suddenly, in just a couple of minutes, the icy walls completely collapsed under their own weight. It produced such a loud bang, it was likely heard all over the Northwest, scaring animals and making them flee. And just like that, the dam was completely gone. Of course, the lake broke out. The stream was 10 times longer than all the rivers on Earth combined. It was rushing through different states at a speed of about 80 miles per hour. Because of this frenzied current, it took only a couple of days for the lake to empty completely. At the same time, this event caused the largest and most destructive flood in the history of our planet. It was so catastrophic that we can still see the consequences of this event. Traveling through the valleys, the flood caused large-scale erosion. This is the process of destruction of rocks and soil by water and other natural processes. It's the cause of the formation of gullies, ravines, and river valleys. So, this stream washed away a huge amount of sand and salt, crushed stone, and even some fragments of bedrock. It left deep-dug ravines, channels, and furrows. You can roughly imagine the terrible scale of this event by looking at the cliff called Dry Falls. This is a three and a half mile long jagged structure located in the central Washington Scablands. It looks as if this deep canyon was being carved for more than one millennium. But in reality, it was formed incredibly quickly because it was there that the most powerful waterfall in the history of Earth poured. It was five times larger than the world's most famous waterfall, Niagara Falls. In some places, the water was 100 feet deep, and it fell down, destroying rocks and soil on its way, 
forming this giant cliff. But even with all the flood's might, it's quite strange that it managed to change the landscape so much in just a couple of days. Usually, these things take thousands or even millions of years. So, how did it happen? The thing is, this flood wasn't the first natural disaster here. Long before the Ice Age, about 15 million years ago, something else happened in this region. A furious lava flow. At that time, massive volcanic eruptions shook this area, and a huge river of lava 2,000 feet deep headed in this direction. Sometime after the eruption, lava began to cool down, turning into basalt. Hundreds of years passed, and the more it cooled, the more it shrank. Due to enormous pressure, it began to slowly collapse, breaking into fragments. As a result, when our flood came here, this valley was already quite battered. So, it was basically a piece of cake for a huge tsunami to destroy everything around. Gradually, the Missoula flood began to dry up, heading for the Pacific Ocean. That's why now we can find some sediment and rocks from Montana, Idaho, and Washington in this region. The funny thing is, all this happened more than once. Scientists suggest that such an ice dam could form, melt, and form again as many as 25 times over the centuries. And yes, every time, there was some crazy floods. Moreover, all these events occurred quite recently. Native Americans were already living in this area during these floods, so they must have been affected by them. Local tribes even had some legends about the floods. For example, the Palouse Waterfall. According to some legends, five giants chased a giant beaver there. The beaver managed to dodge them in the canyon of the Palouse River, but they pierced it with a spear near the modern-day waterfall. The beaver started scratching the canyon with its claws and left all these furrows everywhere. Also, the swings and blows of its tail formed a small pool. Now we know this isn't what really happened. These furrows were actually left by a bunch of different floods. But even scientists themselves learned the truth only recently. In the 1920s, geologist J. Harlan Bretz first put forward a theory about this flood. However, he wasn't taken seriously by the other scientists. They believed in the idea with the complicated name Uniformitarianism. It said that Earth had always been changing slowly and gradually. For some reason, geologists of the past believed that rapid and catastrophic changes were impossible on our planet. Unfortunately, despite a lot of evidence, Bretz couldn't determine the source of the flood. Because of this, other geologists rejected his idea. This discovery completely turned the world of geology upside down. Scientists had to rethink all their ideas about the history of Earth. It also served as a starting point for the idea of catastrophism. This new idea stated that throughout the history of Earth, sudden, abrupt, and catastrophic events had indeed occurred. For example, the formation of the Moon caused by Earth's collision with some other dwarf planet, or the fall of an asteroid that led to the extinction of dinosaurs. All these things really changed our history forever, so this flood turned out to be really important. Not only because it changed the landscape of the USA, but also because of its meaning for the world of science. Our planet has many fascinating scars. Studying them is important not only for understanding our own history, but also for figuring out the history of other planets. For example, these scablands and what we've learned about them can help us during Mars exploration in the future. So, let's wait for new discoveries.